What's up, amigos? We continue with the epic infinite logo fly through animation, focusing on adding text, noise texture, and the effects that takes it to the next level. Now let's add more layers, for example, the text. Let's go to the Adidas animation. We have the Adidas text. And what we'll do is we'll copy this and let's go to our logo animation and let's go down here. Let's go to one second, let's paste it. And we'll bring it, we'll bring it right above the mat. We'll place it right above the mat and we'll place it in 3D space. Now. For Adidas, we are in between. If we switch it to, let's go to the custom view one so you can see. Let's move this. So we are between minus 2,000 and minus 4,000. So we're minus 2,000, minus 4,000. The text layer or any other layer that you have for Adidas, you can move it anywhere between minus 2,000 and minus 4,000. So what I like to do is put it halfway, minus 3,000. So you can see that the text, if we zoom in more, the text is right there in space. And we definitely need to make it, maybe we'll make it bigger so you can see it here. Let's make it bigger. Now let's switch back to camera one. Let's pull back the text. What we need to do is let's reset it to 960 by 540. And we'll change the colors. Let's change it to yellow. So let's go to the selection tool and we'll simply change it to yellow. Let's go back and we can put Adidas down here. We have the logo, then the text flies in. And let's do the same thing for Puma. Let's go to Puma, let's go to the Puma text. We'll copy this one and then here, make sure that you hide it. If you keep it, make sure you hide it. You don't want to show it because we're using this Puma animation. And let's paste it and let's move it right above the Puma mat layer. Let's make it sandstone. You get a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch. Now for Puma, we're between minus 4,000 and minus 6,000. So split the difference. Let's put it at minus 5,000. And what we'll do is we'll start the layer right here. And then what we'll do is we'll move it. Move it down. You can probably move it up. It's up to you. This is up to you now, amigos. You just have fun placing all these different layers. And just repeat the same process with the shoes as well. Just place them in 3D space. Now that you know where each one, each logo is. And if we pull back. For the logo animation, I added this noise texture. And this is a free noise texture. I'll put a link so you can download it. Now, the only thing is it's pretty short, but that shouldn't be an issue. What we can do is we can loop it. And a very simple way to loop it is by going here to the interpret footage, click on it, and down here where it says loop, you can loop it as many times as you want. You can make it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. Okay, now let's add it in into our timeline. What we'll do is we'll bring it right here. We'll put it right above the Nike background and let's call this Nike noise and we'll make it red. And let's activate the 3D switch and let's go back to our camera one. Let's move our CTI all the way to the beginning. And what we can do is let's scale it down. We can scale it down a little bit. It's a it's a 4K image, so we have we have a lot of space. So maybe make it 80. Now, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the black. You can use a blending mode, but what I like to do is go to effects and presets, type in unmolt. And what we'll do is let's add this unmolt and it'll remove the black background. Now this is cool because now what we can do is we can add 
a fill and we can change the color. For example, we can make it, can't really see it against the red, it's really hard. For this one, we'll leave it at white. But for the next one, for the Adidas, you'll see. So what we'll do is we'll make a copy. This one is at zero for the Z value, which is okay. Now let's make a copy. And what we'll do is we'll put it right above the Adidas matte layer and we'll rename it to Adidas noise. Let's color code it blue. And let's, the background is at minus 2000. You can make it at minus 2000 or you can make it minus maybe 2200, anywhere between minus 2000 and the next logo, which is at minus 4000. Now let's go to our CTI and let's check it out. So here we have it and now we can make it the same yellow and that's the advantage. Now there's one little thing that I wanna point out. You can see that you can see through and if you wanna also make it where you don't see it at all through this cutout, what we can do is just add another of this mat. So let's make a copy of this Adidas mat and let's place it above the Adidas noise and just make sure they go to alpha inverted and now you don't see it inside the cutout. So that's all you need to do. We're using the same mat to help us out. So when we go back, there you go, perfect. And just repeat this process for the other logos. So this is what we have with this texture noise and it really adds to it One thing you can do is go to the camera move, go to the rotation, and we can also give it a rotation along the Z. For example, we can start it at seven and hit U so we can see the keyframes on the timeline. And then we can make this zero. And then we can add some easy ease F9. Let's check it out. At this point, feel free to add different layers. For the tutorial example, I added the shoes of the different brands in Z space. I'm gonna make this project file available for you so you can check it out. You can reverse engineer it or you can work off it. But there's a couple last steps that I want to show you. And those are a couple of effects that really takes it to the next level. Those are a couple of plugins from Red Giant Universe. They're paid plugins, however, but it really helps it and takes it to that next level. So what we'll do is we'll go to our logo animation and let's pre-comp it by bringing, bringing it <laughs> into the comp icon. And what I'll do is I'll trim it right here at 323, hit N for November, right click, trim comp to work area. And let's create an adjustment layer and let's Go to effect, let's go to RG universe distort chromatic aberration. And let's check it out. And it just makes it look really cool. It gives that, that distortion, that optics compensation and that RG, RGB split at the edges. Now, if you don't have it, there's ways that you can do it with just using the plugins, the free effects in After Effects, you can go to Distort, you can use optics compensation. And I have a tutorial where I show you how to manually do that RGB split. But for this one, we're gonna skip it. Now there's one more thing. Let's create a solid layer and we'll make it gray. And then we'll add, go back to effect, go to RG, universe, stylize and texturize motion, which is one of my favorite. And we'll switch it to abstract. And what we'll do is we'll switch it to, let's see, overlay. Overlay works really well for the Adidas, the Puma, and for the Vans. Now for here for Nike, what we can do is we can split it. And then for the Nike one, we can switch it to maybe a multiply. No, which one was it? Let's see, which one did I use? The color burn looks actually looks pretty cool, the color burn.
yeah, just play around. Depends on the color, amigos, but definitely play around with the blending mode. And you can always splice it up like you just saw me do to make it work. Hopefully you learned a lot from this tutorial, amigos. Please subscribe, like this, comment. All of this helps out with this YouTube algorithm. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.